Welcome to Boone, North Carolina. Named after Daniel Boone. Yes, and it's seated in the Blue Ridge Mountains of North Carolina, and it's full of history and arts and plenty of things to see. So come along with us. Yeah, let's go look around. We'll show you the town. Yeah. Needing an espresso. There you go. Here's the Carolina Pizza Company. Right in there. Yeah. This is a pretty town, isn't it? It is. Quaint little historic town. Yep. Maybe we need to try a whole lot of donuts. Yeah. You know what? Okay. No. Nope. Oh no, no, no whole load of donuts. Here's the Mountaineer in the uh, in the saloon, Boone Saloons, right over there. And this is the Wild. Was it Wild Craft Eatery? Yeah. Look at there's the Boone Bagelry. Yes, thank you. Can't get donuts, but we can get bagels if we want them. Yeah. There's Jimmy John's. And I brought some teas. Well, there's McAdoo's. I've heard of McAdoo's. Yep. Look at this really neat theater. That's the Appalachian. It is pretty cool, isn't it? Looks like a Doe Ridge Pottery over there, and here's kind of the main drag you can see up through there. Up here's the Jones House Community Center. And um, Home of the Mountaineers. Yeah, this is um, the uh, home of Appalachian State College. This is the Jones House. Pretty rock. Mm -hmm. And the Horton Hotel is right over here, too. Of course, here is the Mast General Store. We, uh, if you remember, we did the one in Asheville. Yes. But we heard this one is really nice too. This side here is the Mast General Store. All the antiques across the street there. You got Doc Watson. Yeah. Yeah, that's who that is, Doc Watson. <laughs> A uh, pretty eclectic little town too, isn't it? Yes, it is. Kind of reminds us a little bit of Asheville, North Carolina. Yeah, this is Melanie's Breakfast Cafe and Lunch. And Jonesboro, Tennessee. Yep, we got Ben and Jerry's over there. Shops at Farmers. Yep. Well, we found the map. <laughs> Downtown Boone, live it up. Is that what it says? That's the theme, live it up. Hmm. Hey guys, this lovely post office was put here and established in 1850, and it's been here ever since. I like that. History right there, isn't it? Yes. And over here you got lofts. What's that say, lofts on King up there on the top, right there? Ben and Jerry's. What kind of shops? We'll go over there. The jewelry store, our souvenirs. We may need to go over there. Yeah, there's yeah. something called the Lucky Penny. I wonder what that is. We'll check it out in a minute. We're going up the street this way, then we're going to turn around and come back down the other way. And we may uh, dive in and out of a few of these smaller stores. I love these neat buildings like this. Let me show you. You know, I, you wonder about the age of some of these. Busy Bees Handmade Market. Look at these street lights. Got LEDs up in them. Yeah. A tattoo place there. We walk up through here and we're like, wonder where that leads to. Look at all those steps. You in for it? <laughs> probably just a parking lot, but we probably should go check it. Yeah, you never know. Oh, there's a escape room. You never know, do you? We we'll run up here and check anything. it out. No. Sometimes we just talk over the top of each other, don't we? Yeah. Those are a very neat, unusual flowers. Yeah, and somebody will tell us what that is in the comments. 
Pretty. These are good. Mellow mushroom, isn't it? Yes. I think we're about as far as we're gonna go. Walk up here maybe just a little bit farther. Then we'll head down the other street. Well, then we'll head down the other side of the street. Adelia Restaurant Wine and Bar. Wow, the breeze feels so good, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Oh, man. Here in the Blue Ridge Mountains. Still the Appalachians. Yeah. Blue Ridge of North Carolina. You know a lot of the pictures you see, it's the town of Boone, named after Daniel Boone. He's got a coonskin hat on, but did you know that um, he never wore a coonskin hat? I don't know where that came from. It's just part of a character thing about him, I guess. Maybe. There's a mellow mushroom. Ginseng trade. Native root valued in China for medicinal uses. Long collected by locals. Wilcox Jog estimated 1900 among its exporters. And what about that? Ginseng. We're in the ginseng country. <laughs> the Ransom Pub. There they are, ready to go. It's pretty how they got the flowers up here on the... Where'd you go? That's the western world right there. Take a stroll through there. No. Okay. You like that one? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we have a, uh, some area clothing. Wrangler. Look how cute. These little boots. Got Justin boots. These are area work boots. They say are really good. Goodness, look at all the boots. This keeps going and going and going. And here you gotta ask if you want a size. Well, oh, this is a high country souvenirs. Right here. A lot of Appalachian State stuff. Mm -hmm. Walking sticks. That's pretty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got coffee cups and things. So if you're in town, you want to pick up something to remember your trip here. To boom, you can do that. I spotted Bigfoot. Oh, well, you did, didn't you? <laughs> There's a lucky penny. Looks like clothes. Yep. Oh, there's a hair salon, skin care, and a tea. Oh, she's found another sale. <laughs> Those neat t shirts, yeah. isn't it? This is Alumni Hall here. This looks like a Gatlinburg hat you have, except it's in thin. Similar. Yeah. yeah. You can smell the Ben and Jerry's all up and down through here. This is. Oh. Yeah, the shops at Farmers Family Owned. 
We better go in here and take a look at this. Hey, how are y'all? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Oh, yeah. Support local. Been here, they've been here since 1924. I can't remember how many generations that is. Look at the purses. Socks. What in the world Miss Karen got to? So here is um, what generation? Fourth generation? Fourth generation. Not me now. I, I am the manager here. You're the manager. Yeah, okay. We're in the fourth generation. And this is the original floors? Original floors. 1924, right? 1924. And original ceiling? And then back behind you, because it was a hardware store, we left this original so you could see what oh, it was yeah. the nuts and the bolts. Oh, yeah. Interesting. So if you have children, they've got a lot of toys and things. Don't they? And candies and jellies, Lots just all kinds of stuff. Here's the loft. I'm gonna go up here. I don't know. Look at this. This is a hardware store when you step over to the bank. Look how thick this is where they had to blast through the wall to get into. This is what it's... This is the safe. It is a time lock safe, which means if you go in and the door closes, you cannot get out till the next day. No really? What, no matter what. But if you step right inside the safe and you look to your right, you'll see the ventilation system that you can use so that you can get air. Oh, okay. Air. Yep, the ventilation system right there. Also, if you look right here on your right, there's a check. Yeah. Do you see the date on it? December 3rd or 13th? 19. 28. 28. And how much is the check written for? Two dollars and fifty cents. And what was it written with? As a pencil? I don't know. I can't tell. What did you say? A pencil. It was written with a pencil. Okay. The only people that had ink back in that day and time were doctors, lawyers, and bankers. The everyday person had a pencil. What about that? <laughs> Nineteen and twenty-eight. I wonder what this check is referenced to. Oh, we're not sure. Yeah. Most checks back in that time were counter checks anyway, and that's what that is, is a counter check for two dollars and fifty cents. Oh, okay. And also over his left shoulder right here, these are inspection stickers for the bank itself. Oh yeah. In inspection stickers. Wow. There's a lot of history here. And this was what bank? Oh uh, at Watauga. Watauga Bank. Bank, and I'll show you some pictures. Okay. Look at all these little neat things. Little signage. And toilet paper holder with the old black bear. Well, what a neat store. Yes. She said she's going to challenge me with something. Yeah, there's some more up there. There's a maze toilet paper holder. Oh, yeah, right up there. Cherokee 12 gauge. This is a Cherokee 12 gauge. It's the first item sold here. And there's the date. 1924. And how much did it sell for? $12. $12. That's amazing, isn't it? Well, I think we're going to spend a little more than $12 and go on our way. Oh, yeah. Here's some. Um, I meant to show this. I can give you some history of this. If you see the top picture, middle. Yeah. That's not P39, that's on the corner of King Street and okay. Depot Street. Yeah. And that is Mary Watts that's standing outside okay. in the snow. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. Well, thank you very much. Well, there's more to the story than that. Yeah. There's Anna Bananas. You never know what you'll find. Here's our daily bread. There's antiques. And of course, here is the Mass General Store, but this is just one of them. It's called Highway Robbery Jewelry and Gifts. How interesting. Clothing. Clothing? Oh, yeah, clothing and gifts. Look at that. Jewelry, clothing, and gifts. Wow. 
Hershey's Ice Cream, King Street Creamery. Yeah. Isn't this cool? In a duty, honor, country. Oh, oh great. Got all the branches of the military. Looks like a fountain. It's not on. There's Town Hall on the right, and here's the Appalachian. That's the theater. I guess it's open. So many places still haven't uh, opened back up, so. There's a Dancing Moon, the Earthway Bookstore. Lulu King. Look at that. That's got a neat storefront, doesn't it? It does. Hands-on gallery. It's real artsy. Yeah, look at that. Well, we hope you enjoyed our tour here in Boone, North Carolina. The Blue Ridge Mountains. Yes. Lovely little town. Very historic. Very yeah. artsy. Great place to visit. Yeah, we had a good time looking at some of the shops and things. Karen did pick up a few things, so yes, good on for sale. her. Yeah, <laughs> did get them on sale, so that's a good thing. So Boone is consistently ranked as one of the best small towns in America. Yes. And we can see why. So if you haven't, and you're through this area here in western North Carolina, you should come and stop in sometime. They should, Mike. <laughs> and guys, if you like videos like this, hit the like button. That'll really help us out. Yeah. We thank you so much for following this far. Hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, we're Fridays. Forever. Bye-bye, guys. Bye, guys. Look at this old church. And the Daniel Boone Inn is right down here. Here's the Daniel Boone Inn restaurant. Mm -hmm. I've eaten over there before, but it's been a long time.